Hello, YouTube family. It is Nicole here on this Wednesday night. I hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for the continued support and checking out my channel and whatnot. I'm just here to give my two cents on what's going on in the world and in the news. And so much has happened just today alone. It's just like super overwhelming. It's so much I want to say and then such limited, limited of time. But hey, I'm going to get it out there as best as I can. So as you all know, <laughs> the white supremacist himself, Billy Boy at Fox News was terminated today. Honestly, I did not think this was going to happen. I'm just being really, really honest with you guys. I did my last video on Bill O'Reilly a while back when they were the allegations had just hit. And I'm just like, come on. He's been on that network, that damn racist ass propaganda network for over 20 years. And all the allegations, all the, you know, things that he's done, the vile things that he's done. And it seemed like he was just untouchable. And I just didn't see this happening. And let's be real. The only reason why Fox News or Fox Noise, the, as I like to call them, the only reason why they got rid of Bill O'Reilly was because the sponsors were pulling out. It was, it was all about money. Trust me, if those sponsors would have remained loyal and didn't go anywhere, I guarantee you Bill would still be there tonight. This was about money, the bottom dollar money. Okay. And like I said, I did not see this coming, but you know what? This man deserves it. He deserves it. And you know, when you're online, you see these crazy, <laughs> these crazy memes, man. I saw this on D.L. Hughley's Facebook page and I'm like, man, <laughs> they are going in. This has been nearly 20 years of pent up just... <laughs> <laughs> letting this dog have it. And man, these memes, I mean, this is what Maxine Waters and it says, hey, Bill, how you like my wig now? <laughs> and then this one is from Friday. Someone said, how you get fired on your day off? That's the, <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. Oh boy. People have nothing else to do, but hey, I love the laughs. And of course, Tariq Nasheed, he did this one, <laughs> the James Brown wig. <laughs> Man, this is a party. This is a party, okay? This is a party for us. Now, as hilarious as this is, we all know that Billy Boy is going to be okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's already trying to ink out his his next deal. So although he may be gone from Fox News, news noise, <laughs> as my boy um, Torian Rain would say, Fox News, <laughs> he's going to have another deal somewhere, okay? He's a devil, and there are many devils who follow him. I mean, he was the number one rated show on that disgusting platform, and I'll be very excited once Fox News is, is torn down, but I don't think we'll ever see that anytime soon. But hey, maybe with this, you know, devil being fired, maybe it'll be like a domino effect. Maybe, you know, all the white supremacists that watch that channel, they'll be like, oh, this is such an outrage. Let's boycott Fox News. And hey, maybe Fox News will go down the toilet. That would be a dream come true because Bill O'Reilly was only a symptom, okay? He was only a symptom. The true root of, you know, that that evil channel is the channel itself, the owners, you know, the people who run that propaganda, racist, right-wing garbage, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what needs to be actually taken down. But I'm sure they'll still be there as usual, doing what they do on a daily basis. And, you know, hey, every dog has his day, right? I'm just hoping that we don't have to see his face anytime soon. And the sponsors, as I said in my last video on Bill O'Reilly, are full of crap. Because for years, these sponsors supported 
that hate-filled channel and Bill O'Reilly. They're full of it. Okay, they are full of it. It takes a few women and even allegedly some black women <laughs> to, you know, but at the end of the day, it was mainly white women that took him down. To say that he did this, he said that to me, and that that's what it took? Then they should have did this years ago. Since, you know, all our cries of the racist rhetoric that was, you know, spread on that channel on his show on a daily for years was fell on deaf ears. So, I mean, hey, I guess we can take this however it comes. But you know what? Bill O'Reilly is full of it. Fox News is full of it. The sponsors are full of it. They're all full of it because they went, went along with this devil for years, okay? They went along with the program and they, they funded him. They funded that hate-filled channel. And they're all garbage to me. So it looks like they just all turn on, them, on themselves. So, hey, I say turn on yourselves. You're all devils anyway. But, yeah, I just had to give my two cents, you know, about this. Because, quite frankly, Bill should just go somewhere, sit down, retire, and just go off into the sunset. Nobody wants to see him besides, you know, these races out here. Okay, because the majority of the people really can't stand him. But he has a, at the same time, he has a huge following. And that's just as scary. So, anyway, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this ridiculous story and whatnot. And adios, Bill. I hope we don't have to see you anytime soon. But I'm sure we will. But, ugh. Anyway. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video.